Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's Tuesday the 30th of July 2013 and um, I've just been going over some feedback from uh, the Board Game Geek forums um, because I've posted up playtest rules for my dice game which is Vampire Dice at the moment, that's the title. Um, I can reveal that now because it's, it's out there so I can't really hide it. Um, I'll put a link to the forum thread in the description however I am about to change the rules so um, I've had some really good feedback but really good as in oh my god I've got to change the rules <laughs> like a lot um, I think the main thing is I might take out stealing from the game altogether uh, because it's com it is I've realized from this feedback how completely unbalanced it is it's amazing what a fresh pair of eyes can see that should have just been obvious to me um, but when these things slowly evolve over time you kind of become blind to it and that's why playtesting is useful uh, to get other people's opinions so um, it's it's so out of whack that I think I might just remove it completely um, for several reasons um, but the simplest one to quickly explain which is like one of five bullet points this guy put for me um, is the fact that it, it can effectively go on forever if everyone's stealing from everyone the game never ends kind of thing uh, which is actually a, a slight concern I had had at one point but then there's actually much worse problems than that which are a bit more complicated to go into um, but I'm, I'm not going to bother because I think I'm just going to remove stealing and <laughs> it instantly fixes all the problems with it um, but so I'm going to do that in a minute and then see how the game looks. It'll probably look a bit thin um, when I remove that, I think. And so <clears throat> it's going to be taking that out and then trying to find a way of making um, the race for uh, collecting points um, more interesting, possibly. So it's going to become, go back to its kind of route of being sort of like a race for points in a similar way to, uh, uh, to Zombie Dice, but being hopefully as distinctively different from zombie dice as possible because the rules are different despite a couple of people instantly comparing it to zombie dice I think it's hard not to because of the title and the fact that it's a push your luck dice game but the actual roots of the rules are completely different and my game's based on hog and um, and I don't even know what zombie dice is based on but um, yeah so um, so I think that's everything I want to talk about with that. There's a three minute video. There's a couple of other things I was going to talk about today. Um, I guess I can just quickly mention them. Um, I was thinking, you know, I'm mentioning uh, reading up about bonsai in Japanese. I realised um, I'd also made a note at one point to read up on origami in Japanese. Although most origami is a se you know series of diagrams anyway. So maybe there's not that much original language I could learn from that but also um, I saw some um, I saw a photo of some uh, Go again you know the the board game Go and I was thinking about Go and um, and I've played it a little bit before and I was thinking oh that's something I could look up in Japanese you know because ob obviously it's a Japanese game um, so I might sort of like see if I can learn some Go from learning a Japanese book, of reading a Japanese book on it, that'd be interesting. Um, so, and I also was thinking a little bit about video formats for my non-gaming channel, and maybe it would as well earlier. I have this file that I think I've mentioned before that's basically um, a big list uh, compilation of everything I've learned about YouTube and what I think is like the kind of optimum video format. So it's not to say that anything that doesn't hit every bullet point is necessarily going to do badly but it's kind of like a formula I've been coming up with for like um, to give a video is the best chance of doing well kind of thing um, so I was looking a bit at that and thinking of sort of like a new a kind of a show format for my non-gaming channel that would do well and and also maybe for my gaming channel as well so um, but that was only a limited amount of time today um, so yeah, so I'll put a link to the board board game geek forum thread where I've posted the rules. Although probably 
you can have a look just out of curiosity, but um, until I'll put up a new version of rules when I've removed stealing, possibly. And um, when that's up, give me some give me some feedback on that if you want. But um, I probably don't need any more feedback on the current 3.0 rules at the moment because I think I might just completely change them, which is fun. So, um, yeah, so I think my Kickstarter is going to be delayed slightly. I was thinking of testing throughout the Kickstarter anyway and altering the rules slightly. But um, I think until I feel like it's on the right track again, I might um, delay it, maybe just by a week, so, so, I hope you're well, and I will see you tomorrow.